Luna. Just sitting down to eat now. Mm. Hmm? Jay? <sighs> he can lawn mowers, man. All right, let's come over here. Y'all can watch me eat my Chinese that we got. Ten thousand oil paintings. I am apologizing in advance if I miss something. Or if I fall asleep in chat. When I was, I went with Flint to pick up lunch and I was falling asleep in the car. So you're all going to have to help keep me awake. Just add an extra eye roll in for me. I have never watched King of the Hill. So that explains the, the I'm not not quite getting it. I know some of the characters. But it was not really uh my cup of tea. You know, when you're so tired, it's hard to eat. I washed my hair, but it doesn't feel clean at all. It feels awful. Oh, I did wrong. Maybe it's just really dusty. May need an extra rinse. Oh my god, it was so fucking dusty out there today. It was ridiculous. I was literally coughing up dusty. I'm sure you needed to know. So, I'm too pooped to, to do crafting today. My arms aren't working very well. So I figured Vintage Story would do the trick. But hopefully that's okay. It can still be cha a chaotic Sunday in Vintage Story.
And some of these pieces of meat I picked out are so big, I just don't have the energy to like break them up. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Okay. Could you close up of watching me eat? Why is the game capture not working? There it goes. I don't normally like the rice on this, but today the rice is hitting home. Okay. Hopefully audio levels are okay. I'm sorry I'm about to die. I'm gonna die. I'm dying. Apparently, I have to fill up my water bottle. My hair feels awful. I don't So we we got the borax sorted out. How are we doing over here? Oh, the temperatures are starting to show. Oh, sucks to be you guys. Um, we built a bunch of food. Built? Made a bunch of food. Oh, um, I remember correctly because we sealed it all. I really shouldn't have sealed the ones that weren't full, but... So what's our goal today? Maybe some more exploring. We had those two other ruins. But also, I think we need to find a better climate.
turn on there. I feel like that's a chunk of map that's not loaded properly. Oh my god, my character's arm is like weirding me out. I should hold off on the big loot thing until I get backpacks upgraded. Maybe. Those are mature. Well, we've got these caves here to, to get into as well. We should totally explore those. Your pictures today were really neat. I are dead. Yeah, we uh, we went to go and get lunch today. I fell asleep in the front seat of the car, which isn't a thing that I normally do. I was just very tired. They smell like grape candy. That's cool. Okay, let's. Let's do a Hicken Explorer. Now I have no dirt left to get back up anywhere. We got Chinese for lunch and I'm just like, ugh. Eating is so hard. I was so hungry. I was being the biggest pain in the ass complaining about being hungry. It's really good, but it's like the effort required to chew is so much. But why is eating so much effort? Really? Sounds like you've had a very productive week. I wanted to try, we, we got all the stuff for the pool. I've been going on about that all week. And I went out to do some weed eating in the back path. So I was like, well, they won't take long. I should just get this taken care of. You know, it's not a big deal. It's just the weed eating. And then I was like, fuck, if I'm out here, I may as well just, you know, get the mowing done as well. 
And then I was like, well, if I'm out here, I might as well, uh, you know, do a bunch of other things. And the next thing I know, I'm dead. Oh, wow. Um, is it, are you getting the time off? Nice. It's just like right here. If you're tired, it's it's definitely worth, you know, wrong with saying that. I didn't, like I said, I didn't even realize how tired I was until I started falling asleep in the van and then I'm like, should I cancel stream? And I was like, no, it'll be fine. It's a bugger. Is it gonna put you far behind? Oh. <gasps> Music box. That is too much. You know, here already, right? Oh, that's good. Going in circles. Yes, I am going in circles. More variety. Oh, that's good. More variety is always good. to be more in here. Unusual clutter, but does it look cute? Oh, 
does look cute. Alright. So that's that cave. Somewhat explored. Oh, uh, you know what? Should I cover it in? Thank you, Prickly. Do need to zip zip. Okay, let me enjoy. I feel like that's a smart move, filling in the massive giant fucking hole. I did what I did there, but safer. We're gonna call this one up. Oh. Oh, that we're calling that one a note. Okay, now there's a large one around here somewhere. That one. Yeah. Ooh, copper. It's a very, very, very long way down. Alright, I'm gonna need more dirt. Alright. 
apparently you can never have enough dirt. see what I can do with this. right above or right below all right well I had high hopes for this one Here's the waterfall. <coughs> Curious cave. Found some tin. And some saltpeter. And a 
a translocator. All right. I don't think he likes that I'm in here. Buddy, you look all kinds of fucked up. I don't even know if we'll be able to get out of this. I always wonder if it's worth, like when you come into a place like this, rather than bringing a bunch of clay or dirt, Yeah, rather than bringing dirt, just bring a bunch of clay and then you can... When you end up with a bag full of rocks, you can just make cobblestone. That is a lot of saltpeter. What is that good for? Fertilizer. Okay, I think one stack so far is enough. I don't even know if there's any point marking where it is. What's a flame? Okay, but also kind of cool that I have a translocator right under the house. Um, is it a closed one? So we're gonna make it.
take the backup shovel, but the thanks, I don't. Hey guys, I cannot remember the way that I came to get here. Holy crap. What is that? What is that? I don't, it's, it's, I. Uh, I don't know, Luna. Hey, GHB. Uh, lightly modded? But I. Not a great deal. Um, I have better ruins? No, nor have I. Uh, I have better ruins installed and primitive survival. Toast, did you see that? Wait, which way was it? Fuck. I think it was down here. Oh, oh, that. What is that? Uh. I'm going now. I I can't remember how I got in here. But I am about ready to just throw myself off a cliff so I can get out. Ape saw it too. Do you th is it is it a from the mod or? Oh, I hate it. I don't know how to get out. Okay. It's from Primitive Survival. Uninstalling it right fucking now. That was awful. I was like, why? Okay, so there you go. There's the answer. Primitive survival. <clears throat> I, I definitely came down that way. Okay, that's the waterfall. This is under my house. Drax is like, look under your house, you might find iron.
don't know how to get out. Ah, uh, what is that? What is that? I just muted the entire game for everyone. That's awful. Fuck that shit. I don't know how to get out of here. I hate it. I. Uh, just in time, Alpha. <sighs> Fuck that. I am, you know what? Uninstall the game, never play it ever again. I'm done. Holy fudge balls. Fuck that. Drax was like, look under your house, you might find iron, and instead I find a fucking war siren bell and whatever the hell that thing was in the picture I posted in your Discord. And you know what? No iron. They can keep it. It is all theirs. I believe that's basically what I said, but out loud and maybe a little more screechy. Party! <laughs> Hi, Forgotten! I, I, it's from Primitive Survival. Ugh. I've forgotten. Thank you for the raid. I may or may not have just pooped my pants. So, uh, great. How you doing? It glows as well, Drax. I'm not going back down there, but it like, it glows and it kind of like blinks in and out. I don't need a lantern. I don't need it. The only thing I'm tempted is to like, there's a bunch of saltpeter down there, to throw some torches. Uh, no, it wasn't a jump scare, thankfully. I literally just want to like, you know, throw some fire. Oh yeah, that must have been an alpha. <laughs> no. You, you can visit. <laughs> you go in there. I'll tell you the seed and give you the coordinates and uh, send you the save and, and you can do it. Ooh, it was awful. And then there was like the scary bell sound that I'd never heard before and I don't want to ever hear again. Uh, but good news, I'm not feeling tired anymore. <laughs> um, but welcome in everyone who came over with Forgotten. Bells can go suck my dick. Um, it was very spoopy and scary. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to no. I'ma just... No. No. Um, so welcome to my stream. I'm not traumatized, you are. Uh, hi, I'm Del Deluria, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm a big scaredy baby. 
Um, and now I'm going to cover over this hole. I mean, I kind of knew because there were nightmare drifters down there that it wasn't going to be like, you know, uh, a holiday vacation destination. Um, but yeah, we, we don't need to go back down there. I mean, maybe, maybe it's a really nice person. Uh, and they just, they just want some chocolate and flowers. But they're not getting it from me. I am covering over the hole. And I'm going to pretend that it doesn't exist. <sighs> Perfect. Oh! Jesus Christ, this game! Yesterday I'm all like, this game was amazing, I keep learning all these new things, and today I'm like, no. There is a translocator down there. Somewhere. Like, right under this ruin as well. <coughs> I, I can't remember how I found it, but there is one right under there. Honestly, the temptation just to like dig down to try and get to it rather than like go through all the tunnels. That, is there like a My Little Pony version of Primitive Survival? I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> it was awful. Did you did you catch it, Alpha? Should I send you a picture? Yeah. It's like the whole thing is spine. Anyway, uh, do not click on that link if you get the heebie-jeebies easily. You have been warned. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, my first reaction was to like run away. I'm in passive mode. Nothing's gonna come at me. Uh, yeah, no, further down we encountered something else which is kind of gross looking, like just a glowy, creepy spine thing. Um, yeah. That is the first time I've ever heard a bell. And hopefully the last. I was like, I don't know, I don't know what to do today. I'm too, I'm too pooped. Because, blow back. It's what you saw. <laughs> um, I was like, I can't do cross room today. I'm too fucking tired from doing yard work. <laughs> you could, jam in. <laughs> And I said, I, I'll send you the save and coordinates, and you want to go visit that sucker? Have it. There's a bell down there. There's a bunch of locusts. There's whatever the fuck that thing was. <laughs> uh, I'm like, you know what? Stardew Valley is looking really good about now. <laughs> My first experience with a bell and I panicked. I didn't realize that the bell would sound it would sound like an, an air raid siren. Oh, apes answering. Welcome in, Jarman, by the way. Welcome in. What is jumping around? It sounds like trauma. It does sound like trauma. 
Oh no, there's another thing? Oh fuck. Ape said that's not the thing that he saw. Petition to never play with primitive survival ever again. I kind of... Oh, I kind of do want to go look again. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, John, man. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my, my curling up into a little ball and rocking is not because you followed. It's because I got the heat. I got, I got the. the that's the official term. <laughs> Uh, yeah I was like so I just I'm not gonna do craft stream I'm just gonna have like a nice chill Sunday afternoon with some nice relaxing vintage story just checking out some ruins nearby <sighs> now I want to set everything on fire Oh, at least it was. Pa yeah, I well, I wouldn't have survived down there if it weren't because before I even saw all those nasty things, there were nightmare drifters and I don't even have any armor. Th that's my armor, which, you know, isn't very effective. I wouldn't even have gone down there. Look at my cabbages. I wouldn't have gone down there that far if it, uh... I can't brain. It broke my brain! Um... But yeah, the, so the jumping, I think the bell like that's how the bell moves perhaps when it's in water like because it was walking through like a little lake because i was like what is that i thought it was like some sort of weird bladder creature or something um but hey <laughs> it is it's just a bell with a tail but yeah i yeah i don't know Ape, ape is not helping things. <clears throat> ape is not helping at all. Okay, let's let's process this. Uh, it's ten that I picked up in the air. Ooh. Yes. Indeed. I may never mine again. And I still didn't find iron. But no, I was just trying to think if I should make myself a, a bronze lamp. Because I've got all the silver. <coughs> um, I should make myself a bronze lamp. Uh, wait, how much is that? And yeah. I keep finding groups like this whole like not far from here is that cave with like the where it's raining locusts i blame this this is all beard's fault beard gave me the name for the seed and therefore it, it's 
It's his fault. <laughs> what? I think it was literally just not the bees. Hello? Oh, here, yeah. <laughs> it's just not the bees. <clears throat> Great. Great for content creation, Drex. Just saying. And for making people cry. Jesus Christ. I just keep on getting like waves of shivers. So yeah, like the the demon lake is like just up here. And then we have like the devil cave under right underneath. We definitely don't need to move. But I also kind of want to see where the translocator goes, but I don't think I have the metal parts. All I have is the... I have two, I have two temporal gears, but I don't have any metal parts. Um, where is... Let's get this silver when I'm, while I'm still fluffing around. What's the temperature on that? 960. Ugh, hello. I'm like, I'm sort of swinging between the desire to go back and get another look and the desire to like delete the save. <laughs> <laughs> and and or I'll go back to the other single player save that I had. Uh and yeah. I, obviously that makes no difference because there's gonna be scary fucking things and everything. Whose idea was this game? Post Also, for those of you who don't have Vintage Story and are interested in this game, I will be giving away a key to it next weekend, <laughs> uh, thanks to the devs. So um, if you too like to poop yourself while streaming, I'm your gal. <laughs> Hashtag sales bitch. <laughs> You like bells? Oh god. <sighs> I will genuinely, if you want me to send you my save direct so that you can explore it, I will gladly send it to you. If you tell me how. And you can explore the scary man under the cat under my house and all the other shit that I am too chicken shit to get to. How long is that to go? Okay, so we've got some silver going. I did find a music box, which is like really cute. Oh my god, has it been an hour already? All right, uh, ads are popping up shortly. Uh, so good time to stand up, stretch, take a break. Uh, Look at something pleasant and cute and adorable uh, that's not in a cave. 
and I'll see you in a few minutes. Chubs, yes, look at Chubs, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so, um, wait, where did my mouse go? Here. So I think what will help, we'll get, get a lantern maze. I think I have candles, right? I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. Yes. Yes, I have candles. Um. Oh, I guess I'll just take this stuff. somewhere right yeah I do
Okay. So having a better land in will help. Won't make me feel better. Good to be sure it'll do. Oh, this is... I, I've only ever had a hell of hammer once, but I miss it. Is two going to be enough? So. I've never bothered with the reflective panels. Mr. Hammer on me. And then we only have to do this. Oh, wait. One more time. Super duper hot copper plate. Got it. Hmm. 
I think I might just put both on at this time. Nice reflective lamp. It's gonna help, right? This is such a process. Doing this, doing a whole lot of this by hand is is not a uh, good thing. Sure, it's fun as a glowy spine in a cave. And yet, I'm still like, should we go have another look? No, I don't think I'm gonna stay here. Because all the crops that I want to make are... Uh... It's too hot here. No one told me about the homeowners in the homeowners association meeting about that.
Oh, you click on it on the ground. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's why. Whoa. All right. Tree's like, I'm here. Wait, how do I, how do I do it? And go by placing it on the ground and oh, and right clicking. Okay, I'm starting to do this wrong. Here we go. Ah. Thank you. Yeah, I've never bothered with silver before. The main thing, I, the only reason I am now is I got so much silver from the first ruins I explored. Okay. One second, I need to go check on Daisy. Okay, sorry. 
got a little deliveries to try and manage today. One to refuse. Uh, and uh, Daisy's decided today is the day that she's going to bark at everything. Ooh, that makes a big difference. All that light. Okay, so, um, maybe time to scout a new home, I'm thinking. Grab another thing of food. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's not take another thing of food. But instead, take a wee nap. It's summer, so there's going to be food available. Oh god, trees are just like, ta-da! Here I am. How's my garden? My little cabbages? Yeah, basically it's too hot for my cabbages to grow here. And uh, that makes me sad. So, oh, where's my raft? Dude, where's my raft? Here is my raft. Over there. Okay. We're going on an adventure far away from here. So that is a starting location. So I think if we just go north a bit, are we okay? So let's go north east. No, let's not throw the raft. And we'll see where we end up. I did not notice that there was a pond there. I'm like, Primitive Survival is a pretty cool mod. Um, but how badly do I really need that raft? That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> More bees. Isn't it good? I love that smell so much. I kind of miss when it's cool though. But there's been a couple of times, like in the last few weeks, where we've had a rain and we, after not having one for a while, and I've had all the doors open. And it's just like, oh, who would have thought the smell of rain would be so good?
So I found out as well, like today the lawnmower was running a bit off. And I needed help starting it. Normally it's fine. So I... Yes. Normally with with it, I need to replace the carburetor on the lawnmower, but... Um, and the little pump valve is broken. So normally what I do when I need to set the lawnmower is I take off the little filter and like, unscrew the filter casing for the air filter and then just put in a couple of squirts of starter fluid. Close it all back up and it usually starts on the first one or two falls. I couldn't... <sighs> couldn't get a starter today, so I had to get help, which was just like... Bruh. I could have gone without mowing for a little while longer because it was so dry and dusty. But now it's taken care of and I think it's supposed to rain this week. So we should get some nice... The lawns will look nice for a little while. Oh no. Yeah, we are already well into air conditioning weather here. Totally into air conditioning weather. I mean, I don't, I don't mind it, but also apparently, uh, one of the reasons I was having problems with it is we. Uh, I could just, I, I have a full kit to replace, like the full carburetor and put a new filter and gas tank in, so it's nice to have an extra one. It always feels good when I can replace parts and fix things. But today it felt a bit weird and I was like, you know, just it just sounded a bit off. And it turns out that last time I mowed, I hit a um I didn't think anything of it. You know those little reflective cat's eyes they put on roads, like on the middle of, of the paint, so you can see the sides of the road. They just put a bunch of them in on our road and they didn't last because people speed over them and it uh one of them got into my lawn but it flipped upside down so i couldn't see it or like it, like the tar color kind of blended in with the dirt and i hit it with the lawn mower blade and it it stopped because you know that's what i'm supposed to do and i was like okay it's fine but i didn't think to check till today and the the blade on one end is like sticking down like a hook it's like In Oklahoma, you have to mow at least every... Yeah, I, I'm in Florida, so... We've had it pretty easy so far this year because it's been pretty dry. But give it a couple of weeks and I'm going to have to be out there every day. Every... Not every day. Fuck that. Every week. Um, but at the moment, it's so sandy as well. I think that's why I have to keep on replace fixing the carburetor is because the sand is puncturing holes in the gaskets. Um, but I, I'm thinking about looking for an electric mower because they're lighter as well. And then I don't have to worry about fucking carburetors. <laughs> Which would be nice. I mean, I feel fancy as fuck that I can repair it. And very proud of myself that I can repair it. Oh, our yard is too irregular for uh for, the, for a uh robo mower, unfortunately. I would love to. We've got like four yards that are all sort of independently marked and there's so much crap everywhere. Those are great if you have a tidy yard. I don't have a tidy yard. This is, this is so pretty. I just like stopped and looked like, what the heck? 10 o'clock and it's 26 degrees. We're still gonna go Northeast. Um, I always have like a real sense of achievement when when I like maintain the lawnmower and when I get the lawns done, but it, it wiped me out today. 
but I wanted to get it done today because it's supposed to be back up into like the 90s this week and uh, mowing when it's 90 or 100 is kind of gross You weren't out. Oh, that's a bugger. Like, it's it's kind of mouse trappy, but every now and then there's just a part that, you know, it's just not worth putting in the effort to do the repair. Yeah. I mean, eight or nine o'clock would be sensible, but that time of day doesn't exist for me. So I'm like, I'm sorry, what did you say? 8 or 9 o'clock? Wait? Wait? I was like, oh look, there's a cave to explore. Oh, wait, there's bricks. But what if it's full, of, like, what if it's got another Slender Man in it? Or whatever the fuck it was. Ooh, another sconce. Hello? Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, no, if there's a crack in the block then... Yeah, you, you could part it out, or honestly, at that point, I'd just put it on Craigslist for like 20 bucks and be like, come and take it for parts. Someone will turn up and deal with it. Well, someone had a party. Didn't even leave me any food. Fruit. But that's handy. Yeah, so I've got a Oh, there's a cool Oh that reminds me of that other ruin that we found. Oh my god, those are too cute. Swap. So great. Right, you can have my terrible boots and I'll take your good ones. Perfect. What a deal. Oh dear. This is this here, this is a story of two kids arguing over who gets top bunk. And we can clearly see who won and who didn't. Rip the little brother, basically. really pretty oh I bet I could crash the server with that one wait is it metal scraps or metal parts that I need I can never remember That is a honeybee question, because my brain isn't working, alright. Thank you. No, look, fuck's sake. 
I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Taking those. I don't even care about that, to be honest. Why don't I just pick... Limestone. Oh! Uh, here, honestly? Whatever. I was like, oh my god, fucking mother load. 18 metal bits? The, the wrong type of metal bits. Alright, I don't think there's any other... <laughs> this is so ominous. I don't think there's anything else interesting in here. That is a very cute little kitchen there. It's the same. Yeah. It's how ladders, the stairs work. Okay. Okay, what, what's down here? I'm so scared of caves now. Jeez, I don't have much dirt. I was so ready to just like feed myself to the self to the monsters just to get out of that cave. Does anyone need to weigh? Would, would anyone like some assistance with waterfall sounds? Oh, look, they all look scary to me now. Oh. Uh oh. Hello? Ooh. That was interesting. Game just did a big old hiccup. Sam's like, you yeah, know, let's fuck with her. Let's send another glowy Slender Man. Nope. They are, they are nice sounds. I'd enjoy them more if they didn't have, you know, Drift to Grown is the uh, counterpoint. I don't have enough dirt to be fucking around with that. Oh, there's another. Oh. I love the stalagmites and the stalactites. They're really cool. <sighs> I'm feeling so highly strong right now, it's ridiculous. Did I go down that side? I did. That's where I found that place. Okay. Where am I going? North. I'm just trying to find a slight. Hey, there's a ruin back there. Oh. Mm, but there's a ruin back. No. Fuck. <sighs> Why is it so hard to be me? The game is like, now it's just taunting me.
It knows I really like the lupins. Sixth of August. Wait, when? What are the summer months? Is it August, September, or is it July, August? Oh, I remember I was like, I'm not going to explore until I can upgrade my backpacks. <sighs> About that. Where am I even going? It's a traitor off to the west. North. I think we just keep going north. June to September is summer. Okay. Just like looking at the temperature now and being like, where, where are we with heat? It's like four o'clock in the evening and it's 30 degrees. I'm like, that's not so bad. Thank you. Oh, it's a baby deer. You're fine, Drax. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to, like, I'm sort of seeing where I am in relation to it before. Because I started on the map in a, a warm climate, which is like back here. And here is too hot in summer to grow crops. So I figured if I can just like nudge a little bit north, then the temperature might be a bit easier to manage. I don't know why that Whoa, that's cool. It's so tall, the redwood looks like it's just sticking out a little bit at the top. If ever there was a use for the monkey bridge, that is it. It's just this massive fucking hole in the ground. This seems like a dangerous place to live. It's really cool though. I genuinely just thought that was a pine tree. Oh, resin. I don't think I've ever been concerned about you backseating drags. This is fine. Oh, 
Oh, it actually is. All, all right. Good. Good explore. I'm so good at exploring. Man, that's absolutely cracker when you get the uh, the sun setting like that. Oh, jeez. That is so pretty. Oh no, but, 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 but. Oh, whoops, I've got the UA hidden. Rainfall in this area common. A little window. Are we just chasing the sunset now? Rainfall in this area, very common. See, we're getting kind of close to the... The redwoods means more rain. Apparently I forgot that I was supposed to be going north. I don't know. I don't know how far north I really need to worry about. It's so pretty here. This game makes me so mad sometimes. How oh dear it'd be so gorgeous. And also dark when I'm trying to find a new home. I feel like when you get the, the junctions between two biomes, which it looks like there's a, a ruin up there, that's when I really like it. So you get the redwoods, but it's not, it's rainy all the time. I think I can hear bees. But I can't tell. Look at the music. So many ferns everywhere. Ferns and quartz are my favorite things. When the dog. Oh. That's it. Oh my god, it's only 7.30. It's too... it's too early to go to bed. Who was I looking at up there? Was that it? Yeah, it was. So north this way. Northwest. Oh, someone interrupted a raccoon in their business. Off to the lot. Oh, 
Are we having another elevation change? Shit. I'm lost. Uh, just for a bit. I hear bees. I'll be right back. Daisy's fussing again. Today is the day. Wait, where am I going? Oh, wait. This is fine. She where I where I built is at a really weird spot in terms of temperature. Like there's amaranth and sunflowers. Um, but it's like too hot for most like of the fruit and veggies to grow and too cool for some of the other things or something oh look this is like coming up underneath the ruins that I was wanting to go to God, there's, I've got to a point where I'm just not even marking all the bees that I find because there's so many. Thanks, Ravi.
guess. Okay, Brickley. More. Alright, so now we can actually see where we are. Ravy, we ooh, hello. We had big big jump scares. Big not jump scares, but big spoopies earlier. Like big spoops. Not sorry you missed them. Yeah, no, you you wouldn't have in, enjoyed the the spoops. I think. Uh, I think everyone else enjoyed me being spooked. How does it work? These blueprints are reusable lumber work. I want to know what's in here. Oh. It's just a core. Okay, well. It was... Something. How are we looking to... Like, this is like a nice looking... See, this is coastal here. Great woods. I don't know. The thing is yelled out to me is a place with a particularly pleasing vista that I want to Thank you, Ravi. that the scary glow-in-the-dark slender man is under my house. It's 
Slain demand, and demand, I don't know. This is too bumpy. Oh, really? My inventory is so full. A redwood sage. All right, well, I'm going to read what seats interesting. I told Flint about that hiccup straw. I don't think he was convinced. See, look, we got four colors coming to Saturn. Starting to come in now. I wonder if I can use that as an indicator. Ooh, what's up here? Oh, let's just stand. Find anything good, I can toss the crop. That's not a problem. That's a pretty outlook. Okay, um, I did not take the hint that Ravi gave me for the ad break, um, but I am going to stand up now and stretch um, and get some ice for my water bottle. So enjoy the view and I'll be back shortly.
Okay. Uh, you would not recommend the Revive and Prospect. Oh, really? That's good to know. Thank you for the information. Okay. Like, this is... This is a really pretty spot. chickens that that in it's all in and of itself is a very good piece of feedback I've had that with a few games I've tried where it's been like I mean it's okay but I wouldn't spend money on it So rainfall is common, not very common. There's red falls. Oh man, I always forget to check stream B. But yeah, their their analytics are so useful. <laughs> That's amazing. I like, like, they give you those sort of analogies and comparisons, but they're not, like, patronizing. They're just kind of fun. So you know, your CCV is high enough to stop people from evacuating. To get Sorry, everyone's <coughs> with it being Mother's Day, we've had two brothers in law turn up to say hello. Welcome back, Prickly. I feel like this this could be a good spot to build. This is pretty. We've got redwoods here, redwoods there. <sighs> what a pink bee. As a marker. I like that it's near a large body of water. I don't know why. It's not like I need to travel anywhere. I could have sworn just then I saw a rift and I was like, uh, what? Oh, it's, oh, that's cool. Are those trees form an archway? There's also pigs here, apparently. I'm totally ready to just abandon my old home because of that ruin. <laughs> oh, 
Valley. That's fun. Man, that wind sound is something. I'm like, no, I want to stay away from the scary ruins. And then I start running towards another scary ruin. Yummy books, my favorite. <sighs> All right, well, that was an underwhelming. Whoa, I should check that out. I can just die to get home, right? I used a spinny cog at my house. <gasps> That's the first wolf howl I've heard since I started playing on this game. He knows you're you're here. like I was almost ready to settle into <laughs> what uh into the ruins that I found Mal and and then I was exploring the caves underneath and uh I don't know why it posted spoiler, but it yeah, there was a spoopy dude down there and now I'm looking for a new home, basically. Surrounded by a bunch of... Yeah, that was my reaction. Also not immediately visible, but there's like these... There's, there's just these terrible things in that cave and now I just want to set it on fire and never go back. So there's that. <laughs> it's like the Enderman, but so much worse. What the hell is this? Okay, there's nothing underneath the middle pillar. What's he? What? Is, what even is the point? Yeah. Um. 
so I was I was planning on just playing this to to sort of relax a bit because I've had a very busy day and now I'm why that that doesn't help because I don't know what that is now I'm just like panic I'm playing this game in passive mode so it's like nothing's gonna attack me but I don't feel convinced especially when you go down places like that and they they all turn and look at you oh yeah that sounds about right for sure It looks like it's almost all spinal column, and I feel like that is not acceptable. Like, how, how dare. Can hear bees. Somewhere around here. So yeah, now um that was in my house, which is all the way down here. And now I have traveled many hundred kilometers, 1500, well, I don't know, units, blocks uh, away to the north. Not really to get away from it, but also to get away from it. Even though I have sealed the entrance to the cave, so the mummy's curse cannot get me. Oh, it's a traitor. All right. I was like, what is that glowing in the distance? Please, not another glowy man. So apparently that's added through uh, a mod that we have on the server and that I've got on this game. Um, which adds some very nice features. And now I'm like, but do I really need the mod? Yeah, it's from a, a mod called Primitive Survival, which adds some really neat stuff in the game. It adds like fishing and like the raft that we use and a bunch of other things that are, are really cleverly done and fit in context of the game. Um, but it's the first time <laughs> I don't go into the caves very often, but it's the first time I've encountered something like that. And apparently there's other things too. I call it Living Dead, I think. something like that but I was not prepared when I saw that I didn't I didn't jump scare um but I was definitely uh uncomfortable when I found it Yeah. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm just randomly tootling around with no particular goal in mind.
Yeah, I've not seen any of them before, and I would be okay if I don't see any again. I mean, the, the dudes in the game already are a lot to process sometimes. The drifters. And they're, they've teased in a couple of other type of critters without much commitment. One kind of looked like a, a demogorgon type thing. Um, and another... It looks like something that's got like a big cavernous mouth and it's torso vaguely basically the devs are like let's fuck with them Which is totally fair, because if I could do that, I would too. Um, but I will, I do have a key uh, for this to give away next weekend. So, um, if you're around, I don't, I haven't figured out how I'm, I'm doing. It'll just be like whoever's in chat. But if if you're around next weekend and you fancy game I'm doing a 24 hour stream uh, so Saturday Sunday so I've got a few game keys and uh, other bits and pieces I'll post it in discord when I have info anyway but I think I, I recall you mentioning that you were interested, but it was like a, a thing that was out of your budget at the moment. So. And a streak of crazy, yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Um, hello? What? Why? Oh, he's hunting. Wait, what? <laughs> that fucking sound. I forgot what that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty twenty four hours of Dow. Oh, they're killing the pigs. Okay, it wasn't hunting me. It was it was killing the pigs. <sighs> okay, I can come down off the wall now. <laughs> it, it's fine. Oh, no. It, it wasn't hunting the pig. Oh my god, is there something going on that I don't know about? Why did the wolf make the growly sounds? Oh. This is not... This is not appropriate. He was doing a Hecan Doggo, but the Hecan Doggos aren't supposed to do a Hecan Doggo. They have the game on passive. Like everything is just supposed to be like, ooh, -ooh and that's it. Oh. 
Well, that looks like a broken chunk. Hey! Delirey, one spinny hey. love delirey, one fill delirey, one spinny love delirey, one fill delirey, one spinny love. Delirey, one spinny love back at you, Sadie. Thank you. Though I'm now wondering if they are aggressive, if I can use it to like blood port me home. Hi. I keep thinking I should get rid of the text to speech, but then it entertains me far too much. Oh, the text to speech is doing the emotes as well. Oh, what is that? Oh, considerate. Uh... Okay, honestly, the, the crop is worth more to me than the bowl. Color, 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 yes. That's a very put thing to say, but yes, pick a color. I know the fill, that's why we have it, Sadie, because the, the fill one brings you joy. Oh, that tree is so pretty. So pretty. Okay. Um All right, so let's keep going this direction and we can do like a big old loop home. Balloon. I mean, the thing is, Sadie, the entire thing is a pride thing. It's literally like someone's just like vomited a pride flag into a puddle of yarn. I wouldn't, I, I actually can't tell at the moment until I like put all the colors together. So I will just put a Purple or whatever fits. Note. So above that is yellow and dark blue. Yeah. But you never know, because normally Jessie, well not normally, but Jessie often picks pink, and this time Jessie picked purple. Pinked purple? Picked purple. See, look, even this is pretty. Oh, heck. Oh, hang on a second, I need to go help my nephew.
All right. Sorry about that. My nephew was out playing with Daisy. And, uh... Even though she's only only got half half her zoomers, she was still being a little bit too exuberant for him to figure out how to get inside without to move her. So I had to go and rescue him. <laughs> he's he's six, <laughs> and she's she was an excitable pibble. Oh. I mean to leave AFK for so long. Well, he, he's not my blood, so you know. Okay, we're just gonna go this way. I man, I hate that I went AFK for so long. Uh. Alright, we're just gonna go west. It's funny. <laughs> so even with her, her back legs not working, she's so full of zoom and excite. <laughs> She just, she just keeps going. I feel like, oh my god, Buckma. Unspeakable horror caves. Were so unspeakable that I ran away to try and find somewhere else to live. Hang on, look, look at that, look at this. Why is it spo <laughs> spoiled? Yeah. I sent you a picture of, of unspeakable. Oh, heck. Thanks, Ravi. I was just minding my own business, exploring caves, and then that. <laughs> that is the appropriate reaction. I I left the cave. I I decided I did not need to be in there anymore. Uh, and uh, now we are moving house because that cave with that thing is right under where I built my little house. It's apparently uh, a thing from the mod Primitive Survival uh, called a living, living Dead. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah, very. <laughs> I was like, I, I don't need this. I don't, I don't need it. Uh, time to move and set fire to everything. And maybe just delete the save game and start. Yeah. Just start a new save. Maybe just uninstall the game. <laughs> you know. Yes, you do. And that wasn't far from the like the water cave where it was like raining lo the the locusts the the weird like glass 
I can't air spiders. <sighs> Drex is like, this is why the rent was so cheap. That's why the ruins were so cheap. I didn't tell you about the neighborhood. Also, uh, it, it like, load? Like, it would, like, glow darker and lighter. Oh, fuck. Hang on a second. Now there's a delivery. Oh my god, I'm not getting a break today. Okay. It's been, oh, it didn't work. It's been, it's been a day. It's been. Okay. It didn't work for you, Buckner. Trying to get to the water now. So yeah, like, do we just like nu nuke the game because of the scary man? <laughs> okay. What time is it now? Perfect. Yeah. Up and down. Got up this morning and I was like, I want to get some weed eating done because it wasn't very hot. No, it wasn't. It was just Daisy throwing a tantrum. She's been like full of balks today. She's barking at everything. Uh, Molly would probably be like, oh my god, that's so pretty. Can we pet it? Because it was pink and sparkly. And it was kind of, I mean, if it weren't for the fact that it looked like uh, a giant scary spine, it could be pretty. But I feel like Molly would be like, let's, let's fucking go. Let's get it. Hi, Baird. Yes, Daisy has been particularly vocal today, which is frustrating because I do have a delivery coming in today that I need to reject. <sighs> um, Beard. What it is, is a reason to uninstall the mod. It's from the Primitive Survival mod. And the one I encountered was like really deep and it was near Nightmare Drifters. Uh, so it's not somewhere that I would normally encounter. I'm assuming you saw the picture in Drax's Discord. But yeah, 
I was like, oh god. I, I, I don't know. Also, I encountered a bell in there for the first time. Uh, and I also very much do not like the bells. At all. I encountered the bell just after seeing the the scary cryptid dude. Yeah, so the bells are a base game creature. Oh, <gasps> Dagma! Oh, new spawns. I did not hit it. I ran away from it. Maybe. I wonder what the initial uh, spawn rate is, though. Oh, I wonder, though, because when you start a game, you have, like, a grace period of... Um, X period of X number of days before things spawn. So maybe if you do that and then you could do set the multiplier to zero for those things. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Embeds. Um yeah, no, the the bells, I saw the bell, my very first bell just after I saw the whatever the fuck that was and my heart was just like no I'm done like I'm just here to play games and relax uh, and now there's monsters under my house <laughs> I don't know, maybe... Oh, we could test that. I could... Hmm. That would be testable, right? I could, like, go to it. Ow. Oh, chill. I can go to it, and then... Tweak the config? I don't know what their, actual, their normal spawn behavior is. Yeah, they have this, like, this awful clangy... But it, it also reminds me of air raid sirens. And I could, I could do without them. Like, they don't, they don't look bad. But they're not great. Hmm. My my high school uh used an air raid a similar sound to an air raid to let the the school air raid, the, the entire suburb basically know when classes started and ended for the day. And it took decades for my grandparents to stop wanting to dive under furniture every time they heard that sound. I hate it, just for that association. Hi, Ollie! I liked your picture! <laughs> um. Oh, so, yeah, so maybe they... They reset... Well, no, my grandparents were both born in Manchester, so they were raised on the the sounds. Um, but also, for a short period of time, like, there's a bunch of uh, redoubts and, like, cannon placements all around the coastline of New Zealand because there were a couple of Japanese subs in New Zealand waters at one point, and one came into Wellington Harbour. So there was a real fear that that was going to happen. But yeah, they were raised in Manchester, so... 
Yeah, that was good, Ali. I like that. I feel like, so the mob behavior I've seen so far has been the, the spawners, uh, spit out critters when there's a proximity to the player, it seems. Look at these full colors coming in. Oh, oh my god, today. Taken today. Why did I pick the turnips? Oh, I guess I was hungry. The power of suggestion? Wait. Do you need croissants now? Oh, oh wait. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you always want popcorn. I could, I could try to test if we can set those spawns to zero. It does make sense. Oh, Ravi, that sounds really good. Yes, it's mine. The only thing is, to test it, I have to go back down into that cave. Right? To go back down to the cave. See if it's there. Save. Exit. Edit the config. No, no, this is a new cave, Ali. That's even worse. I have never seen a game screenshot to as many people as I have today. Uh, but you're welcome. <sighs> oh, now I have to figure out where I... Oh, fuck. I found it! <laughs> yeah yeah everyone's like uh what the fuck is that and then uh followed by no and look it's basically where i just put those two dirt blocks those trees there is the entrance to the cave and this is my house uh, and this is why i have to move And also, they're not even aggressive. Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna send to you, Ravi. I don't. I don't think you need that at all. I'll traumatize Ali and Buckmer and Mal quite happily, but I'm not gonna send it to you.
I don't even know what that is. All right. And it's glowing. Hey, can I have that, please? Yeah. Cast. Okay. I mean, I want to test this for science, but also I don't want. I don't. <laughs> I don't want. Custom mod configuration. Oh, it has a GUI now. Okay. Honestly, fire is a solid recommendation, and I may have mentioned that. Um. And thing is, I've got a parcel of hoses for mum in law's oxygen machine that I have to sign for that's coming in. So every time Daisy barks, I have to go check. Sorry. <clears throat> Just at the angle of the dog camera. And yeah. That is definitely part of it. You looked for a flamethrower mod last night. I appreciate you doing that, Bachman. Okay. I have tweaked the camera angle so that I can see the ramp and what she's barking at. <sighs> She's bloody clever. Oh shit. Um There. There. That seems like a fine place to put. We have an understanding. Normally she's pretty good. I think part of it is she's she's very sensitive to changes in her environment. And so she's adapted really well to to the her changes um but we had an uh, we've had an rv outside our place for a couple of years now and it went away yesterday so now she, her field of view has expanded so she's seeing more stuff uh and part of it because it's her excite bark part of it is just like oh my god it's like a leaf oh my god it's a, a tree or a squirrel or a bag or a piece of trash She's just got more to see, so it's like a whole new world for Doggo.
Wait, I can't put the scrolls in there? What the fuck? Okay, well that still helps. Oh, I forgot to pick that up too. Hey, no, give that back. Where did they go? You know what? That's fine there. Okay. So. Oh, hey. Escape and click the new mod settings? Wait. I don't have that. Oh. Yeah, I need some new libraries. Libraries. Yeah. Pigtails. Hi, Molly. Yes. I needed to contain my hair. Even after washing it, it's still gross from doing yard work today. Hi. Hey! Oh my god, it Ooh. lasts for so long. Pumpkin! Okay. So that one, and then this one. Okay, so we're installing a, a GUI so that I can get rid of a GUI. Now, now that I've turned the camera so I can see what she's barking at, what she's going to do is she's going to go through all her barks and then between each bark, she's going to run up to the front door and look inside to see if I'm coming out. All right, so what do we got? Unable. Why? Oh, no, that's fine. As long as the code's installed, the zip doesn't matter. Clever girl. She is a clever girl. Oh my god. Now I want to, like, recreate that scene, but with Daisy instead of the raptor. Config.lib, that's that. And then I am GUI. There. <laughs> Clever girl. Okay. I'm gonna exit out of the game and then restart it just to the best chances. So what we're gonna do is test if we can get rid of the fucking terrifying spoopy thing. Molly, it was scary. You know how people joke about being, like, getting such a, a visceral fright that they feel their bowels turn to water? It wasn't quite like that. But it definitely gave me all over just like, and, uh, yeah. Thought it was pink. I think, I think that it is, is possible. Well then how... How to kill...
<laughs> Set to zero, load in, bend over, kiss your ass, and uh, say goodbye. So the one that we've seen is already... Oh, here, here's the... Yeah, a strongly worded letter. Oh boy. That's true. Oh, here's this is this is the list here. Living dead. Fuck right off. <laughs> hmm. Fireworm. Okay, so at least there's like a, a this is this is a, a a combination of two as recommended by Primitive Survival. Uh, so that is the first one, and this is the second. These are the dependencies. And then once those are installed, you can bring up, you can just hit P. The letter P, don't hit, it'll make a splash. Uh, and then it'll bring up the UI. Raining party! <laughs> Hi, sir! Hello! So, should I... Hello! Hi! Hello, hello, hello! What were you doing? Oh, you're playing Bell Ride again! And you've been getting into that. Hi, Eurosis. Welcome in. Guys, so thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Yes! Making it rain, cheese balls. Um, I hope you had a wonderful stream. Welcome in, everyone. Hello! I'm Del or Delaray. My pronouns are she, her. Um, and I am currently trying to figure out how to not see scary things in Vintage Story. It's hard to not play it. That's a good sign. It was hard to not play Vintage Story until today. Now I'm having thoughts. <laughs> uh, I hope you had fun. Also, if you if you need to like go, I know it's late for you. Uh, you need to go and take care of yourself and eat. Now we know we can turn them off. We can turn off respawns. We'll kill everything? Fuck my, you've got my back. I appreciate it. So, kill everything. Restart the game. Relaunch the game and then go down the cave. I know, I know. Uh, Drake said, made some comment about that's, that's, if, if I, and I wondered why the ruins were going so cheap. I am curious. Oh, what spawned? Uh, a living dead. Thing from the primitive survival uh, mod. Um, do you have access to the? Oh, hang on a second. Let me post it up in gaming share. Whoop! Not there. Well, I set the spawn rate to zero. I don't. I don't want to wait at all. I, I don't, I don't want, hang on. I'm gonna post this in gaming share in Drex's Discord, guys, so you can see. It is spoilered, by the way, just because it's kind of creepy. I don't know. Hmm. 
Maybe, though I've noticed that there are some things, like if it's targeted, see how it's got like a little up in the top? Oh, is a targeted block, perhaps. No, no, not really. I can't remember if it was the upper level or the lower level that I found this. Okay. Wasn't up here. Oh, shut up. I I love Fifi so much. All right. I hope you all appreciate how brave I am being right now. I'm so brave. Which, which way was it? Relative to the waterfall, was it this way? <laughs> Thanks Molly. I think it was through here. <sighs> Thanks Bakma. All right. This looks like a hastily placed pile of dirt blocks. So I feel like this is how I got out. I'm pretty sure it's over the air. Okay, let me just make there. There are creatures that are arachnid-ish. So if you are very uncomfortable with the idea of like a steampunk kind of spider thing, please look away. They're fucking awful. There's the bell. So. Also, be prepared for a terrible sound. Oh no, that's a saw blade. No, don't look at me. I think it was down here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, it seems to have gone. Maybe? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I still struggle with these things. All right. So How? Maybe, maybe that fixed it? Uh? But also maybe not? <sighs> I 
and I've managed to get turned around again. Oh, thank you, Bakma. Okay, so may maybe it's gone. They are. They really are. I almost wonder. Yeah. Okay, so there's just a big circle. I believe it. I feel like it was down there. Like, that seems familiar to me. So, whatever it was, it's not there now. Oh. Fuck me. Why did I come back in here? <sighs> this would be one of those times where it would be very entertaining for everyone else uh, if I was wearing a heart rate monitor. So I don't have a particularly good resting heart rate, but right now it's at 100. But I'm not healthy, so yeah, there's that. Okay, well, it wasn't in there. So now we can just leave and never come back ever. Ever. I found my way out. I still don't know that I want to keep living here, though, with all that, like, right, right under my home. Though there is a translocator. Okay. I'm just going to sit here and have a drink of my coffee. Actually, there was something else that I was kind of intrigued about. Oh, look, the safety of the home fires. He was right at my house. I think I need to go back down there for the, the translocator. Like, I don't think a little gate's keeping that person out, that, that thing. The leather processing is working finally. Um, yeah, so that went well. Um, hello, hi, 
if anyone's just joined and I missed you. Hi. Hi, maybe. Okay. So that was fun. Big ham, indeed. Big ham. Big ham. Speaking of big ham, I need to get myself a some treats from the store for charcuterie. Charcuterie platter. Ah, screw you. My phone's like, you should take out the trash. And I'm like, I already have. Okay, so uh, we did the lime. Food is just never going to stop. Charcoal, we figured out the shoot. Y'all, you know what? Let's see if I can figure out how to get it with hair. that work? It will. I'm gonna try something. But you know what? I could sleep and then try it in daylight and everything is less scary. So... Did we get rid of that thing? by just by reloading or did we get rid of it because i changed the setting and then didn't go into the block right <laughs> mal <laughs> Mel. Such big bright energy in here. Okay. I don't know if that'll work. I'm gonna try something. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay. So it's literally just like straight up. That sounds perfect. Yeah, that sounds, I mean, that, that makes sense. Uh, three servings of something. And now you're like, I don't, and now I don't want to. I almost don't play this either. <clears throat> um. It 
that's what I ought to be stumbling about with. It's a bunch of letters rather than. I think that'll be fine. Oh, whoops. Okay, and then I need to put... So, as long as there is a stack started... So that theoretically just made an entire massive tall stack of coal. Yeah, there we go. And then I can just like grab it and add in there if I need to. And if you have a tall building, you could just keep making it up and if you set up your charcoal I believe yeah now that's set I believe oh no it is gonna slump Heck. okay so you need to keep at least a half block there so I think a gate would work best. It's true. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted at all, I see. I want is oh I use them both crap door They are, I, uh, I think I had a shower after doing the lawns today, but I feel like I need another one. Like my hair still doesn't feel clean. I don't know why, but it was so dusty. Oh, that'll work. Ridiculously dusty during the lawns today. Perfect. Oh, see that? Gross. 
Compulsion to vacuum. I hate that. Okay, so this block is taking up a bunch of space. So could build like a charcoal furnace right here and then just put the coal in directly here. And then instead of having to go to a storage chest or whatever to get the coal for cooking or smithing, you can literally just take it from the pile. Put it in. Yeah, thank you. We figured that out last night uh, when I was supposed to be doing something else. So I'm trying to figure out how to put it in practice. So the only limit really is how tall you want to build that coal stack. There's plenty of room in there. But you could use that, for instance, I was thinking you could put like a charcoal burner in the basement of your house. And then you could just have like this arrangement of like a coal chute going right up through all the floors in front of all the fireplaces, like a chimney. And then you could just load up from the bottom and then every level has access to it. my moment occasionally when I'm not pooping myself all right that's gonna give me glass oh my all oh, the trees are growing uh, where do I want to put that Fiber. I still haven't heard back from them. These people, they're like, hey, you should shoot your shot. And I'm like, I shot my shit. Add Benny Fiber. I even tried to make it sound like fancy. I tried. I, I actually sent them Benny Fiber a message on Instagram. And I didn't say anything about shooting my shit or shitting the shot or anything like that. I was very professional. I don't expect an answer on the social media account though. I probably just need to find a, a PR type person. Um, black, wait, is that the same as, is that going to be hot enough? 1300. <laughs> Thanks, Ollie. Uh, oh, but that's coal rather than charcoal. Okay, so now I set it on fire. Okay. This, I keep on saying it, but this little, like, this ruin that I've taken over reminds me of the bandit camps you find in, like, Skyrim. I kind of like how sort of haphazard it is.
Okay, so that's gonna make glass. So the idea there is to make one of the sides of that charcoal, the coal chute, to be glass so that you can see the level or put like windows in. The weird thing is I haven't felt any sort of compulsion to like build out the ruin particularly. I think I might be more inclined to uh, I lost track in the middle of that sentence so I guess it wasn't a very strong inclination at all have worked out very well. How did I do this last time? People, people are real good at remembering. Oh look, ads. I don't know why I enjoy that so much. remember what I did here. Oh, I need more stupid planks. So if I do... There's another test. I guess I can pull that down now. Oh, 
Oops. This is me doing a really good job of taking a break on my ad break. I'm really good at it. I'm so good at taking my air breaks. It's like a perverse part of me that wants to go back down into that cave. Oh, that scared me. Just to, just to check. But also, I don't want to go down there to check because what if? I feel like we're being a little too, too ambitious with this room, but that's okay. You know what that means, that's silly. This was easily used. Dirt. a really big room. They've pushed it there. Now we need to find a couple of big mama oaks. Cabbages. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, I have an extra one of these, so we're just going to pop that at there. Perfect. Get it, I will lose it. Okay. 
but sleep. We're gonna find Big Mama. Like one of the really big ones. Here we go. There is one big mama. Oh, apparently. Eating is a thing. Weird. Uh. Braining things. <laughs> so, like, I can't fib to Ravi. Oh, God, can you imagine what's down on this pit, given what we saw in the other one? Another world at the uh, yeah. We figured out how to turn off the scary note thing. I think. Hopefully, and by we, I mean Buckma. Oh, this is a walnut. That's fine. That's a lot of wood. so many logs that my frame rate is mad at me right now that in-game control, like the in-game UI for for primitive survival is is nice. is about to break. Um, 
Oh, there you go. And use it to finish it. Oh, and I need to dirt. game that's exactly what I wanted Well, now I don't have a convenient form of fire. Oh, wait. I still can't believe we got up so high on that. I suppose it helps that other people have been saying shit too. Oh. Yeah, I remember that. apparently yeah it's a character from Bob's Burgers it's that big green blobby thing that I crocheted So that is working. Yeah, exactly, Buckman. That is working. The door is working as a seal for a charcoal pit. Oh no. I know that I know exactly which clip you're talking about there. <laughs> hmm. Ah. I know so rude how will I ever stop being a streamer I 
I, d I do think about this sometimes. Not like I don't. I want to stop, but like, how does one stop? Like, I thought I'd just do a few streams, and that was nearly six years ago. Like, how do you? I don't. I don't know how to. <laughs> ban all the subscribers I believe it Ravi yeah but it becomes such an intrinsic part of your life like I just ban that well I started that but apparently I'm not allowed to ban Ali whatever but like the content creation thing it is such I guess it's it, if you let it it becomes such an in integral part of your life that when you're not streaming you're thinking about creating content it would be <laughs> aww aww that's so sweet yeah like I just I can't imagine just like stopping and walking away It's bizarre. Like I get antsy if I don't stream in a few days, and it's because this is like this is my social. Uh, but I get to a point like if I'm playing games off stream, I'm like, this is weird, man. Who am I supposed to talk to if I if I'm playing a game on the on the Switch, for instance, in the bedroom? I'm still I'm still doing this. I'm not streaming. I'm sitting in bed playing games, but I can't shut the fuck up. Or Flint's just like, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm just blah 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 blah. Oh look, I did a thing. <laughs> Daisy couldn't care less as long as she gets pets and treats. She's very discerning. Okay, so what if, hang on, what if I do this? Woo! I thought that was gonna fall out of here. <clears throat> so now I can see the cool little art Ali what are you up to What a shame! <laughs> Aww, how sad. Oh, well, that's not so. Alright, there we go. So now we can see when the charcoal is done.
Ow. Hmm. Oh, that's so cool. You can see the coal level going up. It's working. No, I didn't. You can't prove anything. Coal fell on my head. <clears throat> Oh, that is not what I wanted. I have scales. Oh, thank Lord, I have an extra axe. Oh no. Good luck. Don't fall in. Or something. Okay. Hope you don't find any scary things out there. I ended up buying one of those little refill kits. Printer's like, I don't care. <laughs> I'm out of yellow. Uh. Why not this scary? She's listening to you listen to a stream where I'm talking about shoving fistfuls of stuff up a giant green coochie? That could lead to some need for explanation. Why is it gonna have the lounge music in the background? <laughs> Oh, look at that. That was back before they out added all the numbers and letter mess uh, at the end of Twitch clips. Thanks, Ali. You're a real pal. I don't know what I'd do without you. Yeah, I sure would be. Would be a boring existence without you in my life. <laughs> I was like, why did that happen? Oh, right, the... Chonk. It was a, a fun project to work on, actually. I'm going to take that out.
All right, so now we can monitor the charcoal pit. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, nice, Taurus. Fuck, I keep on forgetting about that. Oh, it's Sunday. Heck. I just... Uh... I just realized I probably wouldn't be getting an attempt of the redelivery of that FedEx package because it's Sunday today. The... Oh, that's right. That's the start of it. Um, no, I'm not going to do all the days of the week. I decided because that's not going to be healthy for me. So I'm going to do the usual day. stream elements, please. I'm going to do my usual things today. So Wednesday, th Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, Saturday and Sunday are going to be the 24 hour stream. Um, there's going to be giveaways every few hours. Um, there's going to be a chance for you guys to feed me delicious treats like cheese and grapes. Um, there's going to be cute hair clip color hair extensions. There's going to be uh, Lots of I don't know what I'm doing. I we are gonna start off with trucks, I think, on Saturday. Plan on starting around five-ish, I think. I think five p.m. to five p.m. gives me time at the end of the stream to like go to bed and wake up at a normal time on Monday. So yeah, I think with yeah stream anniversary. Yes. Um, I was going to try and spread all it out over a whole week and it was just too much. I was just, I was overwhelmed just thinking about it. So we're just going to put it all into like the 24 hour stream. But I've got like some game keys. I've got a set of Astro 18, is a 18 headset thing. Just, yes, stuff. Oh my god, there's so many spa sparkles and things going on right now. Soul Soul. They're all cute. Soul Soul. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I've been streaming for nearly well, for six years. It doesn't seem real. And it has some really weird emotional stuff going with it. <laughs> so. Ali has like the longest, the, the, the longest sub badge, oldest sub badge than, than anyone else. <laughs> Ali's, Ali's been sub longer than Flint has. <laughs> yeah. So they're Flint. Yeah. So I, I, we do, I did add some, some little party emotes. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna get stuff. It's so, yeah, it's a bee rave. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I still remember when, how I was when I started streaming. Like, I was trying to be, like, like, BBC proper. I felt like what I wanted to be no, I don't have a B outfit. Um, I was like, I started off and I was trying to be all like very prim and proper and <laughs> uh, I 
you know, like... I tried not to swear. This is, like, a few years after I stopped working as a bar manager where I worked in bars with tradesmen and I swore like a sailor all the time. And now... <laughs> Yeah, now we embrace the Chaos Gremlins, but I, I started off, I think there's still a couple of people who remember like from like my first months, like uh, if you ever see Blazing Babe in here, <clears throat> we basically watched her kid grow up together. Um, She was pregnant when I started streaming and now her kid's in school. Uh, but she was one of my first followers and she's like stuck with me through the years as well but it's it's crazy and then all of a sudden i'm just like you know what fuck it i don't care i'm gonna burp on stream <laughs> oh wow oh that's about the chaos bee <laughs> yeah i was like wait what i found hard okay And yeah, now I'm just like, oh, I hope the, cap the mic didn't pick up that fight. <laughs> Awkward. <clears throat> We've had a lot of fun. I've grown a lot as a person. I also have this really neat video montage that the, uh, the college students put together. Um... I haven't eaten, I've left it as it is because that was their, one of their capstone projects and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you guys as well. I don't think I've shown it to anyone else. It's just like a compilation of clips over the last six years. Uh, oh, actually, Ali, I think Ali's seen it. Um, the Chaos Bees, yes. Uh, see, now see, Luna, I'm going, when I go up to Ohio, in July, I'm gonna take them up with me. So, uh, Ray will get a personal delivery of the bees that he's been waiting so patiently for. So patient. I would be fucking rioting. Um, yeah, so I was I was going to be working on some other bee stuff today. I get... Oh, thank you for posting that, Ravi. No, I forgot what I was going to say. But yeah, it's going to be... Next week's going to be a trip. I, for some reason, six years is hitting me harder than five. And I keep on, like, thinking about, like, the things that have changed over the last years, and then my brain just goes... And I head off in a million different directions. It is, and it's really hard to not do the comparison thing, too. Like... Because <clears throat> I'm, I'm so thankful that... All of you choose to spend your time here whether it's lurking or chatting or whatever like you can't stream without people to stream to i mean you can but you know like it's a package deal like you guys are part of it but it's also really hard to not compare yourself against someone who's been streaming for the same period of time and has you know like it, it's not healthy to compete with others but it's still hard to not do it as well But I feel like this is probably the first year where I feel like I'm comfy with where everything is. Like we've got a good pace. We've got a good rapport going on. You know, like I can keep up with chat. It's so bad. Um, I feel like in the last year I've made some really amazing friends as well. So look. I'm not even getting into it, and I'm getting goosebumpy and feeling emotional. And I'm not PMEC either. Oh, 
on I, I can say it like I had the biggest compliment the other day was someone came in and they said do you mind if I look I'm working on some crafty <laughs> uh while I watch you and I was like no by all means please look and then 10 minutes later they're like okay I can't look anymore I'm gonna jump into conversation I was just like oh like best compliment to streamer ever oh Molly like, it's just such a wonderful, like, when someone's like, I can't look, I have to jump into chat. I'm like, yes! I can't remember what we were talking about. Some bullshit. It's always some bullshit. Um, I will be in voice for the entire 24 as well, if anyone wants to keep me company. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need help. With, with staying awake. Other than scary things in caves and venture story. Well, they are. S sometimes they're like gold gold and sometimes they're like iron pyrite gold. But they're always golds. Oh, thank you, Molly. I, I trip up over my own brain a lot. That's that's good to hear. What is... What the fuck was I talking about in that? I need the googly eyes redemption. Stop it. I need the googly eyes. <laughs> Also, oh, that was the, the nuclear, yeah, perfect. Thank, thank, thanks. Um, I think that quote was about the, the, the nuclear power thing in Satisfactory when I was doing one of the acid on events not the danger butts one <laughs> a nuclear west no no all right what am i doing we have a lot of nerds around here it's fantastic sure I don't know what that does, but I'm just going to do that one. Oh, I can't learn that one? Oh, farming? Mm. Uh, uh... That one. Oh, yeah, I saw, I saw you all. Were you all in there having fun? Nothing. <laughs> Five hours. Okay. <clears throat> I don't. I'm. I'm. <laughs> not getting anything done. I'm just running around in circles, but it's okay. I when I started streaming today, I was genuinely concerned that I would fall asleep in my chair while streaming because I was feeling so tired and I'm like so full of energy right now just from your keeping company. And also from your kids' names are trick names. That's amazing. Yeah, that that definitely. Uh... Like, that definitely helped. Why is it like it's still lit? It says minus six hours. I don't. Know. 
it's cooling down now. Wait, what was the what was the time frame that Drake said summer was? July to September? June to September? We come to September. Oh my god, that's amazing, Remy. I I always make the pass it on is like such a fun event. And I always build it up in my head as being a lot harder than it is. And as long as I don't look at what other people are doing, I'm fine. I don't you should see some of the stuff that Queet comes up with for Pass It On. It is bonkers. I enjoyed the last build though with the danger birds. I think that was the most fun I had with it. The first year I didn't like what I did at all. But it is, uh, especially because I don't play Satisfactory a lot, it's, a, it's hard kind of trying to remember how to do things. That would be interesting. All, all that. Her. Have I not got, wait. I don't really need sunflower seeds. The heck? I mean, you can do it easy enough on a server and just like measure out a block rather than because the way that the pass it on works is you you save the game and then you upload it to the Discord and then the next person downloads your save. But that could be a fun community event. Because there's a few of us, like, you know, Drax is Norwesty. Hey, Parser! Yeah, anytime. Anytime. Easy. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now I want lemon cake. Anytime. Look, the colors are changing. This is like, this is my favorite thing. This is why I wanted to be in a cooler biome than the jungle. Or this, the colors, the full colors. I think I broke my charcoal pit. Oh, oh, look at that. I like lemon cake. I'm just going to restart the game and see if that fixes my charcoal pit. I think I fucked it up. With my experimenting. Um, I will also take a lemon cake. By the way. A lemon cream cake would be great. With cream cheese frosting. Well, since I got the kitchen done yesterday and a bunch of laundry done yesterday and the yard work done today, No, 
No, I, I broke the chocolate. Wait. No, it's taking 17 hours. Okay, I'll leave it to it. Um, I do have a bit more wiggle room tomorrow. Well, I got the lawn mode and I got some space set out. So, and I have all the pieces for the puzzle. So maybe tomorrow if the weather is cooperative, if I can walk. Yeah. So there's a couple of spots in the yard that I think need to be kind of leveled out. Um, there's like a big dip and there's like a slight hill. So if I can, the soil is pretty sandy. Um, so I'm hoping it'll be easy enough for me to just hit up with a shovel and basically just like, you know, skim off the top of the hill and fill in the dip. I don't know what our weather is tomorrow. Why have I hiccups all of a sudden? Hiccup orbs. Uh, Monday's weather. I see a thunderstorm. Considerable cloudiness. Who wrote this? Occasional rain showers on the afternoon, high 86. Chance of rain, 40%. Considerable cloudiness. Oh. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and set it up. I'm gonna get... F I wanna try and do it myself because... I like to do things the hard way. Um, but I, th I think. Ah, there we go. Um, I think I might need Flint's help with, uh, with managing the yard stuff, the shoveling of dirt. What does this take? Nitrogen. Hydrate. Thank you, Ali. Did I miss a break? No, I didn't. Oh, right. No, tomorrow it won't be very difficult, I don't think. Other than maybe needing to level out the ground. Um, I said I got... I moved some yard debris and stuff out of the way already, and I mowed the lawn. Um, and we've got a tarp, so it should just be a matter of getting the tarp down and then putting the pool out and just spreading it out and then filling it. The hard part, I think, was just getting the lawns done. I could be wrong. Maybe I've jinxed it. Maybe I've jinxed it. Let's go get some... Now I don't want to move because it's so pretty here. I need, I need some good d dirt. Maybe this could be my forever home. Um, sorry, I missed your message there, Parser. You were up until three o'clock in the morning. That's amazing, though. I, I hope you had fun. Sorry, I got totally distracted thinking about lemon cake. Yeah, I got that. 
<laughs> I was just like, uh, lemon cake. Oh. Uh, fuck. Really? Another one? Oh, boy. Yeah, lemon cake. This is my favorite time of year, I think, in Vintage Story. If I could, like, freeze it, like, late summer, early autumn, just for the colors, I would be so happy. I am absolutely a ball girl. <sighs> Hello? Where? Wait. Where is it? Somewhere around here. Aha! Here. Thank you. All right, so I got the high fertility soil from there, so let's just delete that. I'm hoping to hear like hear back soon. I I asked asked our friends at Blue Fang again about a vintage story service that we can have like a a gentle one because I I don't want to detract from the community server that Drax has. It's really important to me. I don't want to do that. Because um, it's a very different feel, but I, I wanted to set up one for, for as little babies who like the baby book, My Little Pony, soft and squishy kind of play. What am I doing? There are so many bees. Now I'm like, should I just stay here? I spent three hours running around the map trying to get away from scary place and now I'm like, Maybe I should just stay here. There's absolutely no reason for me to be keeping this garden as small as it is. Oh, but this is such a commitment. Such a commitment. Feels like I don't where do I want to put the garden? Oh, and I'm I have a service sponsored through uh, Blue Fang. Uh, so at the moment they provide me with a server for free, uh, and it's it's on Project Zomboid right now. Um, so we just I don't they don't have any vintage story ones, so they're looking at like basically what they need to do back in to get up into story one story when going but thank you though
How about... How about... Oh, I'm having a brain. A brain, brain thing is happening. What if I fix up this little tower? We have ads starting in 30 seconds, by the way. Okay, sure. Thank you. Oh. What if I fix up this little tower and then I plant my garden around it so that I can like, this will be like my little kitchen or like the place where I process like the mill. <gasps> I could make this into a windmill. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Brain is doing stuff. I need to take a break because I didn't last time uh, and I don't want to get in trouble. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to stand up and stretch and have a wait. You guys should do the same. I'll see you soon. Good idea. Hi, Karen. Uncle. Putting my glasses back on and I can see Ravi giving me a mub stare. I had a wee and I got a snack. So there. 
pretty. Huzzah! And by snack, I mean a cold egg roll. Which is... Mm. Okay. I appreciate the reminders, though. I really do. Okay, so the plan is... I can. Why does that look like a scary face now? I hate it. What I think I'm going to do is build a garden around this <coughs> tower. Then build the tower up and do a windmill in there. And that'll be for like... We'll do like... The... Grinding of of like flour and stuff. <laughs> Igro is trying to kill me. And like maybe get a cellar set up in there. Potentially just a kitchen? I've never had a kitchen detached from the building before. But then this isn't really a building so much as... A wall with stuff on it. <laughs> from farm to fork. Man, you know every time you eat something and it just doesn't quite go down the right way? <clears throat> Alright, sleep. <laughs> I forgot the reason I had kept that little gardeners because it was before I had buckets. I don't have buckets. Okay, I need to check the charcoal again. I think I broke it. I definitely broke it. I think it's trying to do the thing, but it can't because there. Ah! It is not the appropriate place to put a door. See, now I am seeing... Uh -huh. What if, what if? What if I do this? I think I fucked it up, but that's okay. Um... So yeah, tomorrow hopefully I won't I may not need to level the ground. I'm gonna get Flint to have a look at it and then and then if it doesn't work it's gonna be it can be his fault. Um it might be okay. I've never really dealt with pools before, above ground or otherwise, so I'm not familiar with 
the, the vagaries of whatever they are. It seems like if there'd be a big, uh, variation in, in ground level below a pool that it would cause problems, but it was a thirty dollar pool, so if it if it breaks, it breaks. Okay, we're gonna let that go. That is a hundred percent sealed now. We're just gonna leave it alone. Um, I need to find some medium soil. Let them break. You. Right. I have tin. I still don't have iron. Oh, but what if there's iron in here? Don't have good blocks. Fuck. The whole reason I went down in that cave because someone was like, you might have iron under your house. What I had was monsters under my house. And not the sort that you want to play with. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. One or one, one or the other. All right. I don't know if I've been down here or not. I need to start marking them off. Oh, all right. So there's nothing down there. Uh, well, let's just put that there. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, nothing down there either. All right. Perfect. So grumbly. All right. That's going to be my thing to like mark off where I've been. I could just bring charcoal and then I can literally just scribble on the walls. Oh. Done this a couple of times today. Oh, it's fine now. It just goes, ugh. How pretty is this? So pretty. This game makes me want to cry. Oh, <laughs> apparently it also makes me hungry. My bad. Doot, doot. Doot, 
At least my berry bushes are flowering now. Look, I'm working on it. Okay, let's try this again. So I'm thinking next week, that's literally the cave I just came in from. Um, I had plans of like visiting a bunch of different games. Uh, but honestly, I don't really want to. <laughs> I think I just want to play what I want to play. Uh, which means it'll probably just be this. I'm just going to low life vintage story in. Because, you know, it's been a while since I did that. Look, it's so pretty. Now I'm like second guessing my decision to to stay <laughs> because there's so many pretty spots to build. Oh, I just need someone to make a decision. Because I have, I have nothing built at that place that can't be done elsewhere. There's too, too much water around here. See fruit trees. That's the other nice thing about this time of year in game is it's so much easier to spot the crops and the trees because of the the color variations. Come on, look at that. I mean, eh, but, uh, I can hear the bees. Somewhere in that mess. Oh, there's a bunch of fruit trees around here. It's up here.
Mobase. Another pair. Oh, I can see them. I can't get over how many bees there are in this. It's ridiculous. Don't. I have, I have no food put aside really for winter. So that's fun. But then I'm not sealed anywhere, so I can just travel to like another part of the map. I was like, I'm so brave. I'll explore the all these caves because the game's in passive mode. Oh, hello. Alright. be easy to build up. Oh, this is another really oh Red Bay one. And some of these ruins tell a dark story. Rice. That we've come across a few dungeons actually. And they've got these rather, I said, sort of dark tableaus sort of painted in them. You get a dungeon, and you get a dungeon, and we all get dungeons. Oh, hee hee. a flawless segue Ruby perfectly delivered
Love it. Okay, so I'm just sort of looking for dirt, basically. Like medium dirt. But I guess I could get started with scrubby, low quality dirt. Rainfall in this area common. So pretty. There's the bald cypress. Okay, that rain actually sounds good though. We found the dirt. Oh. It's not like that that highfalutin, high terra preta stuff, but it all helps. All right, <clears throat> I need I need chat to help. <clears throat> Decide. Please stop waving the shovel in front of my face. I need help to decide if. is a lot of study. If I should stay where I am or try and find another spot because there's so many spots that are like really pretty and I'm getting hit with <clears throat> decision paralysis. Of course, now it's night time, so that doesn't help. Exactly, Stone. If I go, there will be trouble. Will be double. Well, I mean, on of current place, lots of scary things underneath. However. That could be same for anywhere else in this game. And we think we got rid of the super scary things, so less of an issue. There's really no, it's just an aesthetics thing. Really? <clears throat> no, if this keeps happening. Bring my task manager here. And see what's going on. Vintage story is gobbling up an awful lot of RAM.
Which is probably why it's stuttering. It's using nearly half of my RAM, and I have 32 gig of RAM. And I've had a couple of restarts. Yeah, it's it's only it's really only decision of like this spot being pretty enough or not really or using utilizing a, a structure or building from scratch at the moment I've just kind of I'm using the framework to put stuff on, but I'm not really building it. Well, that's that's the thing. I... Therein lies the thing. Because I think everywhere looks pretty when the autumn colours are doing their thing. Ninja Story should not be using 16 gig of RAM in any way, shape, or form. That is a lot. Don't restart it. I was definitely put off a little bit by, you know, 7 gig, yeah. Because I was, I was getting more and more stuttering and then I looked at my task manager and it's using six, just shy of 16 gig. I'm like, mmm. See, it could just be a page file not clearing. So you ordered a few things today for me? Was it for the meat? <gasps> Exciting! Did you get your wife to pick a flavor? Stone's gonna make me. I'm very excited. It's already up to three gig. Four, five, six, seven, And I'm literally just watching the numbers here climb higher and higher and higher. Seven and a half gig. I think one of those gooey mods is, is causing fuckery.
Mine's already at, at eight, almost. Just in that time. It's just, it's constantly going up, 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 up. So, let's turn off these. Let's see what's going on. It's like it's not... There's definitely something janky going on. Let me just exit the game completely. It's always a good, a good idea to do that when you've switched around between mods anyway. <clears throat> Some proper bee spit, some bee balm. Mmm, delicious. Well, I'm excited for you that you got some stuff for it. Hopefully it all pans out. So I didn't have any stuttering until I installed those mods for the UI stuff. Still going up pretty fast, but I'm just going to let it go because right now it's obviously it's building the world. And we're just going to look over when I get a stutter and see what happens. I almost feel like this is a problem. This charcoal pit. I think that may have been it. Yeah, it seems like it's stabilized at about eight and a half gig now. All right, so I guess my charcoal pit was broken. So weird.
I think we're good now. So I'm not entirely sure what I did, but I think my effort to like make a, an access way with a door and stairs may have triggered the pit to like just constantly pull to try and start because every time I resetted this, the game the count would reset to zero so if it's constantly pinging trying to turn off maybe that's what was going on I don't know I'm just making up ideas my coffee's broken Yeah. Someone keeps drinking my coffee. Fucking rude. So yeah, the decision is, do I stay here and build slash utilize the buildings? Because at the moment I'm just kind of putting shit down, but I'm not really committing. And it is a pretty spot. You know, you've got this big flat area with all these trees. And then the, the water and, you know. But by the same token, there's a scary lake over there. And I know there's scary monsters under my house. It is worse than Loch Ness. It was fucking terrifying. <clears throat> Don't make me introduce you to my friends in the basement. still sitting around eight and a half gigs so I think that's what it was I think it was that that charcoal fire charcoal pit my my trees all just kind of grew I guess we'll find out <coughs> name them Steve all the trees or the locusts in the cave by Swarm of Steves. <laughs> the trees a swarm of steves
go home. So. I wish these things were actually useful. Alright, let's get some fencing down. Just throw things in the well. We're we're using the well to toss trash. I'm sure it's totally fine. go away, away eventually. <clears throat> I mean, I'm a little concerned about, you know, what was at the bottom already? Oh, that may have been too many, especially since I don't like this color wood, but hey. You know. Um, alright, how do we want to arrange this garden? So there's... You can use stone paths and then add water to them and they end up basically but as you can see they're watering the crops and you don't have to worry about standing on them which is nice or you could just have like an open trough of water or you can do like a three by three square with like a little water in the middle i don't know that any one or the other is particularly more efficient just what looks bestest. shovels. This is 
very late in the year to be planting a garden. I don't think I've got any more copper to pour into molds. found iron anywhere. I haven't done any prospecting, so... Did I make a prospecting pick? Yes. Let's just do a little sounding and see what happens here. Put that ruin over there that's exposed. Should give me a couple of spots. Very poor. Chromite, considerate, and silver. It's getting so orange. I was trying to avoid having to hammer out a shovel. I don't think I can. Okay, that's almost done. That's... Oh, the ingots are so pretty. I've heard if you want metal to melt, it helps if you put it in the hot thing. Yeah, looks like the RAM is stable. But of course I changed two things, so I don't know if it was the... 
Choco Pit or the mods, but I'm gonna hesitate to say Choco Pit. Okay. I feel like there was something I was supposed to do today, but I can't think of what. It's, you know, really helpful. Shovel. Shovel? Shovel. Oh, I guess it's not so bad. There we go. It lives. I think I prefer the idea of having bros. so dark well maybe because I put my lamp down and I didn't pick it back up all of a sudden I can see Isn't that lovely? Alright. Oh. Oh my now I'm hungry.
Thank you, Revy. in a few. Look at that sunrise. Okay, okay. Also, it drives me nuts that this building is not lined up with everything else. Oh, did you get your your yellow sorted out?
I'm feeling mildly piggish. <clears throat> um, I don't think it's there anymore. Well, that's handy. Sorry. Um, I I haven't seen anything else, but I haven't really uh, looked for anything else. Um, the game was gobbling up Bram like no one's business, but I think I figured that out as well. So I think we're okay. I was trying to be tricksy and I broke the game. <clears throat> I didn't crash the server, but that's because I'm not on a server. But I think it would have. sitting there watching the the numbers just steadily go up and up and up in uh, task manager it got up to 16 gig <clears throat> and then I'm like, you know, this doesn't seem right. I love that sound. Okay, so now I can see my coal, my coal chute is full. <clears throat> yeah. It was like, normally it sits idle at uh, about eight for me. Eight gig. Eight and a half. So I was like, sixteen's a lot. Speaking of unspeakable horrors, how was Walmart? I'm least fond of this sound.
for oops doing some some garden planning to go down there at some point. And uh, stock up on stuff for the next... for the weekend. And I don't want to go... at all. <laughs> What do I what what do I do? Are you I completely forgot about these smaller scale backpacks. Totally forgot about the smaller scale backpacks. Because they would have helped a lot. They just kind of like, ta -da! I'm here. Hello, I'm a tree. So, what do you need to upgrade that? Just a pelt. Why are you doing that? Oh, never mind. So, do I go hunting more? Having a large inventory would just make everything a lot easier.
I'm I'm really hoping that the server comes through so that I can have a valid reason to start over and to <laughs> yeah. Look at these full colors, man. They're just so pretty. Hey. What's Tin doing there? Pretty colors. Chickens. This game is so pretty. Oh, right, I dug a pit out here, didn't I? Somewhere. Some somewhere. Ah! Bulls and pit. There is no pig in the pit. Game's like, pit, whatever. I can do better. see any pigs. So a raccoon. I didn't kill all the pigs when I was here last time. be unnecessary. God, I can hear more bees. Somewhere around here. Here, okay. I suppose rabbits and raccoons will do too, but I'd, I'd rather. Go for a pickle. Was, I know I put a trap at the bottom of a tree. Uh, 
picture up at the bottom of a tree, but I can't find which tree. It's like, I love how every time I turn around, the colors are even more vibrant. Taken big bird. It's so pretty. Ah. Nine out of nine chickens agree, it's just too pretty. Is a wolf gonna try and eat me, sir? Oh god. It's fine. Oh, yes. I'm getting cute aggression at the game. It's just so pretty. How oh dear. How oh dare it be so pretty. Oh. It's, it is. Uh oh. I don't, I don't have dirt on me for cave shenanigans. There's simply no dirt nearby that I could possibly use. For the purposes of scaffoldy type stuff. I cannot get over the number of bees around here. Oh, so I'm lost, uh, but that's fine. Oh. 
Um, I'm supposed to be going that way. At least I have a brighter lamp now. That helps. Got a bunch of mushroom uh, pigs around here somewhere. A mat. Oh. I marked off on the map where they were because I thought they had like <clears throat> a spawn area. But then I guess if I'm hearing wolves, maybe the wolves have eaten them all. Meteor. Or maybe all the peas are hiding because it's getting cooler. And by cooler, I mean 26 degrees. is isn't cooler at all. All right, I'm running back to the house. So next week, I think I'm just gonna, the plan is basically just to, to know life vintage story, you know, just for something different. Um, Mildly tempted to fire up Conan on Exiles because they had the Funcom Creator Program had an interesting thing to do. Um, but I don't know. I'll see how I go. I think though that I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, it's 11 o'clock and I am so tired <laughs> from a very, very, very long day. Why is it so quiet? Well, you're welcome, Luna, and thank you. <laughs> it seems like you're like first and last out on almost every stream. I tell you what, it makes such a difference when you start up stream and someone like even before when you're in your starting soon screen and someone says hello, it's like, oh, thank fuck. <laughs> I don't have to talk to myself makes a big difference i really appreciate the people who are like i mean i appreciate everyone but like people who like come in like right beginning say hello to me even if you like bugger off afterwards makes such a big difference host um uh, a lot of people there's a lot of people playing v rising where that Look over at discount and there's a certain very person playing V Rising. Um <laughs> It it makes a big difference. Uh I don't know who to raid. Oh, why is it so hard?
I don't... I don't know if Twitch just, like, fucked up with my... my follows list. But there's, like, so few people that I follow on right now. Clearly, I need to follow more people. This person. Who is this person that I'm following? <gasps> they have lots of frogs. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. I'm going to send you over to this person. I just remember their stream. They love frogs. Um, and have like, there's just like frogs and lily pads all over their stream. Frogs, yeah, they, they're, they're fantastic. Um, they're also crafty, but they are playing Stardew right now. Um, so I'm gonna send you over there. Um, their name is uh, Keeper. Keeper CGC, the, the name here. Um, I will be back on Wednesday. So next week, anniversary stream week. Um, I haven't got any like big things planned except the 24 hour stream Saturday, Sunday. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I will post any updates if I get any about, uh, the gentle vintage story server on on discord i get any um but yeah thank you for hanging out with me this week feels like it's been a bit of a weird one um but i appreciate all of you for being here with me you choose to take time out of your day to pop in here and that's pretty fucking special so thank you I'm going to start the raid now because I'm just going to get emotional again. Um, <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, so feel free to, to join us. Uh, here are the raid calls if you would like to copy and paste them. Uh, or not. My button's just not going to work. Hello? Here we go. What is up with my stream deck right now? Half my button presses aren't registering. Okay. Uh, you all have a wonderful start to the week. Um, and remember to be kind to yourselves. Please. And do self-care. And I will see you in a couple of days. Or I'll see you in Molly's stream. Well then. Okay. Bye.